Do not waste your time desiring what other people have. Remember, the things that you now have are things you once only hoped for. So I live in that space every day of practicing gratitude because I know that being grateful wherever you are, whatever place or space in your life, being grateful changes your personal vibration. I was just having a conversation with Sheryl Sandberg the other day about her book Option B and we all know she lost her beloved husband David and I said, how did you get through it? And she said, by practicing gratitude. I didn't believe it at first, but I started to write down three things every day that I was grateful for. I said, oh, I've been doing that for years. Because when you wake up in the morning, looking at the world for what you're going to write down or what you're going to state to yourself by the end of the day that you're grateful for, you have a different outlook on life. Before the pain became a purpose, it was just an acknowledgement of what had happened to me. And one of the things we talk about in the What Happened to You book is that anything that has happened to you, and I wanted to just make this point to everybody, there's not a black woman in this room who hasn't been through something that helped her build strength, and then something else that helped you build strength, and then something else that helped you build strength. I mean. Sometimes you go through so much, you say, God, don't teach me nothing else new today. I don't need any more strength building. But, but this is what I know, is that strength times strength times strength times strength. Every time you got stronger, you were building power. Because strength times strength times strength times strength equals powerful. So we're sitting in a room amongst ourselves with all of these powerful women who have their stories of what happened to you that you can now turn into post-traumatic wisdom.